So there are a number of ways uh, to separate this from the engine block. <clears throat> um, this has like a, an RTV sealant. Uh, it's not a standard gasket. And a lot of times that can be kind of a headache and problematic due to all the stiction. Um, but whatever you do, the most important thing is that you try and not shove anything in between this and the block and gouge the uh, bottom side of this mating surface on the engine block. You don't want to damage or destroy anything. So you got to take care no matter how frustrating it can be. So I'm going to first just try and uh, give her a jiggle here. Oh yeah, she's on there. That's uh, 15 years and um, 200,000 plus miles. <laughs> Alright, so we'll figure this out together. Another thing we can do is give her a whack with the mallet. Get this out of the way. Another thing you can do is take a heat gun and uh, warm up the gasket to make it a little more pliable, so we might do that. Um, and I do have some non-destructive shims that I want to try to get in here and we can drive them, get some separation, and figure it out. Alright, so we got the heat gun hooked up here give this a little warm up um, another thing you could possibly do is if you have a vice grip attachment for a slide hammer okay I have one I haven't checked to see if I have enough clearance to set it up here it might be enough but you can just because this is junk anyways you could bite into this lip on the flange um, and then give that a few whacks here or there and that also can break the seal So I've saturated this with heat for a little while, so let's just see if we can give some repetitive taps here and maybe it'll just jiggle loose. I feel movement. Yeah, she's coming free. And I'm not hitting it hard, just firm. Alright. See that? Just a little bit of heat. That thing was on there like rock solid, but now it's pretty freed up. Alright, I think we got it now. <laughs> Alright. We're free, aside from the back, but that'll... Um, when we pull those two bolts out, that'll just... Alright, cool. a little dusting. Alright, we're ready to drop this thing. 
No one got a, got a wedge block here. Okay. Um, just in, when I pull these safety bolts out, just in case we run into a clearance issue with the oil pan, or I'm sorry, with the oil pickup, um, you know, we can shove this back up. Now our hands free, and then we could put our safety bolts back in, and then we can maybe lift the engine or whatever. So, just on standby. Pick up, so got some non destructive shims. Get to the rest of this here. Ugh. There we go. people having interference issues trying to pull their pan out before and they went ahead and unbolted the pickup and everything but um on this model two inches of clearance um you know that'll do you <sighs> all right what do we got here so, yeah, <clears throat> all this right here, when you put sealant on, um, all right, and it squeezes and compresses, there's always a chance of losing it off into the pan. Um, that's why they make uh, like anaerobic sealants uh, that are up if they're in a non-oxygen environment, which would be the place between the pan surface and this engine block surface um, but yeah so that's what that is right there in the bottom of the uh, filter screen on the pickup okay and stuff like that can get into your oil ports and passages um, but that's what happens so you gotta be careful not to overdo it Yeah, there's another one. Okay, and then we have an O-ring back here. That, that interfaces with the pan as well. Okay, and you should get a, or it's more of a, it's not quite an O-ring, it's more of like a, kind of a flat seal O-ring type of dealio. Okay, don't forget that on your reinstallation. Um, if you get a replacement pan like I did, we'll look at it. Uh, you should have a kit that comes with all the O-rings and everything you need. Okay. All right. So now 
we have access, uh, we're gonna have to clean up all this stuff as best as we can, right down to the surface. <clears throat> And uh, I'll show you what I like to do to kind of protect items like this because I want no debris getting anywhere inside of the engine here. So we'll get to it. <clears throat> 